G'day guys, Fitcho here and welcome to another Classic Cars video here on F1 2018 and today we are moving into the 90s with the McLaren MP4-6, of course Ayrton Senna's final championship winning car. Now, last year we drove this at Interlagos at the Brazilian Grand Prix as this was Ayrton Senna's first Brazilian Grand Prix winning car and of course that came in crazy circumstances where he was uh, stranded with only six gear in the dying laps of that Grand Prix. I already did a little bit of a challenge video driving this car at that track with those conditions for a bit of fun. I'll leave a, a card in the top right hand corner of the screen to go check that out. But today, we're going to be driving this at the Spanish Grand Prix at the Circuit de Barcelona Catalunya. 1991 was the first year that the Circuit de Barcelona Catalunya featured on the Formula 1 calendar and it prov uh, proved as a classic race. A couple of years ago when F1 were doing vote for your favourite ex Grand Prix, for the Spanish Grand Prix, the 1991 race did in fact win that. It was a four-way fight between Senna, Berger, Mantle and Schumacher in a wet to dry race and you got those iconic shots of Senna and Mantle side by side down the straight sparks kicking up the uh, vapor trails coming off the rear wings in the end Senna did actually spin it out of the final corner and Mantle went on to win but nonetheless it was a classic race and it just feels appropriate to drive this car at the Spanish Grand Prix today now quickly before we do head to the track if you guys are new to the channel make sure you do subscribe with notifi notifications on so you know when every one of my F1 2018 videos do go live without further ado let's drive this beast. Here we go, the McLaren MP4-6 at the circuit de Barcelona through the final corner. We come, just work out what gate to chuck it in. I believe this is the last H-Pattern car that we do get to drive on this game as we get into the 1992 Williams, I believe, was the first car that we have that does have a flappy paddle gearbox, but nonetheless down to turn number one, probably back into third gear. We go through turn number one and we flick it back to the left through turn number two, a big slide there is now into the what is nowadays pretty much flat out turn number three as I'm getting a huge slide there in fourth gear up through the gears of course the scene of uh, Rosberg and Hamilton's big crash there is into turn four we go a nice late apex squeeze on that power this car is very very lively at the rear end I very much found that when I did a challenge in this car just last week we were heading down towards turn seven and eight now down the hill and now this is where the track layout changes a bit to what we do have nowadays and the old uh, circuit is still there so I'm actually going to try to drive it it's going to have no grip but I'm going to try it nonetheless they went out here and then through this little fast chicane instead of the big long back straight and now down at the hairpin instead of taking the hairpin you have this long left hander that is almost still used today for MotoGP, there's no grip out there. They stopped using that part for MotoGP only a couple years ago. Then through this long right-hander. And they used to also take... They didn't have the chicane back in the 90s when this track was first came about. They took the old circuit, the MotoGP circuit, through there. The game doesn't like that, invalidating my lap. But nonetheless, that is our first lap of this car done. Now I'm going to get my head down, work out this car, and try to put, uh, put together a competitive hot lap. For you guys to enjoy, and I will take the current day circuit for those lap, that, that lap, I should say.
There we go. That is the lap of the circuit to Barcelona, Catalonia in the McLaren MP46. By no means a perfect lap. I made a little bit of a mistake at turn number 5 and at turn number 12 going a little bit deep. Missing the apexes, but I think it was a good enough lap to showcase this car for you, which is a very, very difficult car to control. It is a little bit crazy on the brakes. I'm not having anywhere near the issues that I did have uh, missing gears like I did with the McLaren MP44 that I drove a few days ago at Monza. So I'd say this is probably my most enjoyable car so far just because it is so lively at the back end. It makes it a real challenge to drive. But that is going to do it for this video today, guys. Next up, we head to the 1992 season with that dominant Williams, of course, going to a flappy paddle gearbox and introducing active suspension as I am getting a bit too concentrated on what I'm saying and missing gears putting it in the wrong gate we'll just ignore that I'm uh, not too sure where I'm gonna drive that uh, just yet I'll work that out pretty much as I set uh, set up to record but hopefully that video will be out probably sometime next week because I've already got some stuff lined up for this weekend with Bathurst the biggest race in Australia coming up and there we go we've had a little bit of a spin and we're going to end it right there thank you guys so much for watching if you guys did enjoy it make sure you do leave a like if you guys are new to the channel make sure you do subscribe with notifi notifications on thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you later